Clemson defensive coordinator Brent Venables. Go ahead with questions whenever you're ready. Hey, Coach, it's Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com here. Um, I, I know you all uh, give up a, a few big plays today on defense, but, but it seemed overall like, like a really good performance. The, the four turnovers uh, plus the turnover on downs, uh, three interceptions. You, you have nine interceptions now in the last four games. Just what, what can you say overall about the defense's effort today? Well, um, obviously you're looking at uh, game control. Um, you know, are you getting off the field? Establishing the line scrimmage. I, I do. I'll say this. You know, before uh, I compliment them, it's just I, I thought that we were we were just not quite as sharp. This, we, we gave up a couple stretches, a stretch runs in the first uh, half, and then um, and then we just our, our our leverage on their quick game stuff was you know not very good at all. And um, really, just at you know at outside at corner, we got we had we we, did, we weren't surprised by that. Let me just say that. And, um, and we just, you know, just give up the leverage and uh, we, we can't do that. Make it made it easy on them. Just kind of give them a little bit of hope uh, in the first half. And then, um, and then I thought, and then we didn't respond, you know, to the, uh, the, the block punt and we let them, we had a good couple plays and we let them run it in and uh, we're better than that. And then other than, again, and we gave, a, I put us in a, a dumb call, but, throw it deep on us. They got the 85 yarder. Uh, you know, I could have put us in a better call there. And then, and then the long run right there at the end, you know, just so proud of the 25. Uh, uh, boy, that was a, Jalen did a great job. And what a great example, uh, a message. And, um, that's why, you know, you know, you play to the whistle and you finish the play and you play with great effort. And then he comes back and picks it off. So, I thought our guys, they really responded well in the second half. Um, pretty solid in the first half, but again, the second half, other than those two plays, um, other than that, I don't, they didn't get a whole lot and um, really good game control. And for the most part, we were really good on third down. They were 0-1, had a good turnover uh, on downs and fourth down. And uh, those were some really critical plays. Uh, the scoop score and Mike Jones pick. And, uh, yeah, just some really, really good Good plays. Nolan did had a great play that we worked really hard. And uh, as far as game plan wise, just knowing that, you know some of the things they would do uh, formationally, uh, situationally, and he does just a textbook. He, he and the corner, the corner plays a part in that too. On uh, you know how we want to take some some things away there. So really good thing. There's a ton of things that um, that we weren't quite as sharp on, but um, a lot more that we were on point. And, and um, we, I, we talked all week, you know, a year ago, it's in late in the second or in the, in the third quarter, it's 17-6 game, you know, and whatever the score, I don't even know what the final was a year ago, but we won like by four or five scores or something. And that's not, that's not, uh, that's not indicative of the type of team this is. And they got told they were a bunch of bombs and one of the worst teams in college football. And we talked about it all week, man, these guys are going to come out throwing haymakers. What would you do, you know? Somebody's telling you how terrible y'all are, a joke, and and um, y'all don't stand a chance. You're 50 point underdog. Give me a break. And you can't. You got to respect this game. You got to respect what it takes to win. And you gotta, that's why you play. You got to go out and put your hand in the dirt. You got to go compete. And um, and again, I, I I thought our guys, you know, really showed up. I just didn't think we were quite as uh, sharp on a couple of uh, schemes um, in the run game there in the first half. And then and then again at, at corner, we got to be better there. And all, on top of all that, again, you know, our lone three returning starters from a year ago didn't play today. And, um, and I thought some guys really stepped up and did a great job, you know, in their absence. So uh, proud of the guys, proud of their fight, you know, uh, happy that we had some adversity. So I think that's how you, you grow and you improve and you learn from some mistakes. And, and uh, you know, had you, had you done this and it was against Boston College, you know, uh, you know, I don't know if you if you get a chance to win the game and you, you go in a game where you give up a block punt and, and the pick six. I mean, you know, I bet I bet it's under ten percent uh, if that chance to win uh, and you go in and do that. So there's a lot of good overcoming some adversity there. There's a lot more good than not, and uh, it's hard to win. And again, you know, just proud of our guys. You know, just a good hot day. Uh, you know, uh, taking control of the game there in the second half and finishing the right way. Coach Venables, Rob Gilchrist, WCRS, 1450 AM, 90.5 FM. 
Uh, what was the mentality as far as the first half into the second half? And how do you feel about the play of uh, Greasy, Booth, and Jones on how they played in the fourth quarter with those turnovers and just kind of answering the bell, answering the call, and being able to get a big win today? Yeah, I mean, again, I, I, I thought our mindset was really pretty good. Um, again, I thought our mindset going in was good. I, I thought our guys came ready to play. I think we needed to be sharper on some, some of our game plan specific things, you know, our leverages and coverage uh, situationally. And then, um, you know, how we're, how we're fitting the run game, just, just kind of sloppy at, at times. There, there's a bunch of zeros and minus twos and ones. And then, you know, in a, situationally, we, we had a few runs there that we were soft interior wise and we're not doing the little things the right way. And, uh, but I thought mindset was good. I thought, I thought Brian, man, he's always disruptive. I don't, I know how he plays, how hard he plays. And uh, I thought Booth was really, uh, again, he, we, we had some uh, leverage things in the first half. I thought he responded well uh, and uh, came back and made some really big plays. And then, uh, again, I thought, uh, you know, Sheridan, you know, did a nice job uh, as well. You know, big, huge play, um, one of the biggest plays of the game uh, on the scoop score there. Hey, Coach, it's David Hood. Um, on, on that long touchdown, I couldn't tell. It looked like maybe a one-high safety look. You said it was a, a bad call. Landon, did he have the wide side of the field? How was it a bad call on, on your part? Just because kind of I, you know, I just – I should have uh, – I don't know. I should have I should have just been a little more conservative there. They, they're getting – our guys were getting lined up late, and uh, I just – I put them in a stressful call, I should say that. I mean, we got – guys assigned to everybody that they got, but it's uh, just, you know, trying to make something happen, you know. So, I go home and punch myself in the face, so. But like you said a minute ago, I mean, other than, than that, I mean, I, the secondary looked like they played, to me, really well with not having Darian Kendrick and kind of moving a lot of pieces in and out. Yeah, I, I don't disagree. Uh, there's a lot more to be, uh, you know, uh, that will praise than, than correct. Uh, but there's plenty of things to correct, but um, I, I, I don't disagree with that. Again, I, I loved our mindset, our meetings all week, uh, practice. Um, you know, I, we, we, we took this game, you know, very serious. And you know, I think Syracuse came ready to play, and, and we did some things where we let them hang around a little bit and gave them some hope. And, um, and then, I, again, I thought, again, other than the, the, the long pass that, it's a tough call, you know, it's a tough matchup. And again, I just, uh, I need to be a little more patient, you know, as a play caller, I can help them there. And then again, uh, just that, that long reverse there. Uh, I could have been probably even more conservative on that, but you can always say that uh, after the fact, but uh, we got it, but it's some good teaching moments too, you know, some of the techniques that within the play uh, that we got to be better at, you know, as well. But otherwise I, I was really uh, pleased with, Again, mindset, attitude, responding, other than the, the blocked, uh, you know, punt. You know, we got, we got to be better. We got to hold no field goal there, point blank. No, no, no if, and, or but about it. You know, we can't let them, you know, run the ball for touchdowns there. Coach, is Trevor again. Uh, Skowski is, is usually the quarterback on the field out there for you. Um, of course, he, he didn't play today, and, and your son Jake got the start. Uh, how, how do you feel like Jake played today? I thought I, th I think those guys did a good job, Jake. I thought uh, played really good, and I thought they uh, I thought they did a good job. Uh, they're also very involved in the kicking game, you know, whether it's punt or a kickoff or kickoff return. Uh, I thought he and Baylor went out there and, along with Mike, and they did a good job of managing, uh, you know, making adjustments, making the calls, and things like that. So I felt I felt that was pretty good. I appreciate it. Coach, this is Travis Spolin with uh, Clemson SI. Uh, coming in, averaging almost five sacks a game. You have just two today. Was it something they were doing on offense or uh, just trying to be conservative there on the line? Well, I think they were getting rid of the ball quick, really, really quick. And uh, and then, and then you know, otherwise they were max protected. So unless you're running some kind of an overload blitz, uh, even then he's taking it and launching it. So I think that's by, to a certain degree, by design on their part uh, for sure. But otherwise, again, the, the passes that they got was a catch it and throw the go ball. Uh, wasn't like he went through any kind of reads or anything. That was a long pass. And then uh, they had some jailbreak screens and a lot of three-step quick, uh, you know, quick slants. And, um, and that's really it. 
uh, that was that was their passing game, you know, for the day. So, uh, you know, that's, that's what that is. I think they were 10 of 26, right? 10 of 26. 10 of 26. So it's pretty good. I know Andrew Booth's going to get all the credit for the scoop and score, but Mike Jones, who also had an interception, him and Brian Bercy around the quarterback on that play to knock the ball loose. Yeah, great, Those, really good play. Mike, Mike um, continue. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I was just saying Mike, Mike continues to just impress and play well. Yeah, you know, Mike. Mike's really again. It, you know, every week, you know, it's, it's a, another opportunity to learn and pr improve and grow. And I, was, I told him as the season started, I said Isaiah stunk his first year as a starter until the last three games. He was just like this, you know, like a lot of first year guys. And then those last three games of that year, man, he really started playing consistently well and making layups and occasionally make a three pointer. And then he did a 360 uh, and really, really came on. And uh, Mike's a really smart guy, works really hard, takes tremendous pride in uh, doing the little things well and, and, and being, being an integral part of what we're doing. And, and that was a really big play. You know, we, we rolled the coverage, we blitzed him. and. I gave we kind of changed the the post snap look for the quarterback and he held the ball and between those two guys I think Mike knocked the guy right back did a great job not running by the quarterback and using his hands and collapsing the pocket and uh, instead of getting on the edges and letting the quarterback run run out the uh, you know the front door uh, him and Brian did a great job you know uh, on that play and knocked the ball loose there and, and uh, Andrew did a great job finding the ball there. And, making the right decision uh, as far as scooping it as opposed to falling on it. And uh, they had the nice pick. I thought it was the best play at Tampa. We were in Tampa too. And, uh, us, you know, that was his best uh, snap at Tampa. Uh, we've been going around and around about that one, but to just getting better fundamentally, uh, positionally and things like that. So it was a great time to, to put that on tape. You know, we were another short field. Uh, you know, uh, created by that turnover. So great job by Mike there, just doing little things well. Take one more from Coach Venables. Coach Sweeney told the television uh, in the post game that um, it, it was a sloppy game, but you still get the win and a lot of teaching moments. Is that kind of the way you'll feel that, you know, we, we didn't play our best, but we still get a W, win by 26, and, and have a lot of stuff to show on tape? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, you, you know, you, you got to go out there together as a team and and again, we got, we got to respond better uh, in the first half. We can't let people run the ball at all, period. And we can't give up big plays in the throwing game. And, um, you know, we got to be a little bit more detailed on third downs. I, I know they were four of 13, but, you know, there's second downs too that um, we just got to be sharper from some of the leverage things. Game plan every week, things are going to change and what you major in. And, what you want to take away. And, and, and that was a big emphasis for us. It's taking away some of their, uh, you know, quick game and inside. And, and uh, we got to be better there. We got to be sharper for sure. Um, but again, at the end of the day, I thought our guys, again, came in with a great mindset, uh, you know, uh, responded overall to a lot of different adversity, uh, learned from the first half there on the, you know, letting them run the ball in. And, and then again, came out the second half, man, the, the mindset going in, you know, Hey boys, you know, uh, you better buckle up tight because this is this ain't gonna be easy. And uh, if you're gonna want you want to win this game, man, you're gonna have to go take this thing. And uh, uh, just one of those days, you just go down the list and oh, that happened. Oh man, that happened. Oh, 85 yards. Oh, that happened. You know, just go down the list and it's like, oh man. So man, I love it because I stay. That's my mindset all the time. Like that's gonna happen every week. If it doesn't, great. But I'm, you know, well, I want our guys to always be ready. And, uh, you know, not coaching out of fear, but you, you coach them with respect for the game and respect for the opponent and respect for really sometimes things are out of your control, man. You got to, you got to respond. And um, it, it, it's a tough game. Uh, best players, the best teams, the best units are tough. And uh, they're physically tough, they're mentally tough, emotionally tough. And, uh, you know, fundamentally sound, you know, cohesive, uh, together, um, all of those things. And, and that's how you end up winning by 27 on a day that, uh, you know, could have got beat. Thank you very much, Coach Benavis. Coming up immediately, we have Nolan Turner. Good job, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
All right, up next, we've got Nolan Turner, whenever you guys are ready.